Hey everybody, John Foss, and we are talking with Katie O'Brien and Katie Colleton of Teachers. We're talking everything season three. So guys, I watched season two, very funny. What are we gonna see in season three? Ooh, we have some fun stuff. We're really broadening the world. So we have a new front office woman who uh, doesn't respect us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love her, by the way. She's, she's great. awesome. Yeah, she's yeah. awesome. You're gonna see a principal. Guess who the new principal is? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a great year. Huh? Are you serious? How is this possible? A new teacher mm -hmm. and uh, see how he adjusts kind of getting uh, demoted, if you will. We also, mm -hmm. we also have a really great Lice episode mapping over The Walking Dead that the children are basically zombies. So that's really fun. So we're hunting them down with Lice shampoo bottles. Yeah, and we- Yeah, I will say, I, I, I saw the trailer for that. That is amazing. I mean, it's like, it's basically like a horror movie trailer. <laughs> I, I'm pumped to see the, the show too. Is the whole show like that? A majority of the episode is. Yeah, yeah. it's it's okay. really fun. Yeah, it, it it definitely parodies The Walking Dead, and it's it's great. And you're also doing work here on getting the word out about selfies. You know, always mm -hmm. they are very dangerous. <laughs> selfies are dangerous, they, and they do kill. Mm -hmm. So you guys write, star. You're the executive producers of this show. First of all, who does that? And will you continue to do that type of work in the future? I mean, that seems like a huge, a huge job. I feel like we probably will continue to do it. I don't know what else we would do. <laughs> yeah. To be frank. It's, it's a little insane, but we kind of like wearing all three hats because then you have total control. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's really fun. I'm sure after doing it now in the future, you'll be like, no, this is how that joke should be. You know, you'll probably be used to writing the jokes and doing everything. So yeah. it'll probably be hard to change. Yeah, it's hard to be on set as just an actor because you want to constantly be like, oh, well, mm -hmm. I think, just so you know, I would do it this way. And no one wants to hear Nobody that. Nobody cares. No one cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have so, bad habits now. Yeah. So I'm talking to two Katie's, but for the people that don't know, there's actually six. And you guys started because you have the improv group that Katie did. What is it like when you guys get together? How do you guys... How do you guys communicate? I mean, that's a lot of Katie's in the house. Do you each have nicknames or what? It's a lot of Katie's, and at this point, we kind of know by the tone of each how you say. But we love each other a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I heard that you guys got the idea because somebody said that you guys look like teachers. Is that right? It's the hottest we've ever been called. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, <laughs> somebody, a really good friend of ours who's an executive producer on the show, Matt Miller, uh, said to all of us, you know, you all kind of look like teachers, and would you ever be interested in doing a web series about teachers and teaching? And uh, we loved the idea and jumped on it, and that's kind of how it all started. One thing that's very interesting about this show, unlike a lot of other shows, is I looked at some of the reviews online, and they're extremely polarizing. There's ones and twos, and there's nines and tens, and there's nothing in between. I think this is actually good for you guys because obviously the fans love it. There's some people that maybe just don't get the joke and are offended. Um, do you guys get blowback from teachers and parents and stuff like that that maybe think that you're just giving teachers a bad name? Overall, thankfully, there are some of those people uh, who I think, you know, they think the show is um, an attempt to make fun of the teaching profession. Mm -hmm. But really, overall, we've been really fortunate and had a lot of teachers reach out who appreciate the show. Because at the end of the day, you know, we love teachers and think it's such a difficult job and are just trying to add humor to this incredibly difficult profession. And so it's really great. A lot of them will reach out and be like, oh my gosh, you guys are saying what I wish I could say, or this is what my life is like. So a lot of our fan base is actually teachers, which is awesome. Another thing that I thought of based on just the time that we're living in and kind of some recent events is a lot of the humor in your guys' show is edgy humor. And with some of the comedians that have been edgy in the past, everybody loves their humor, everybody thinks it's great, and then all of a sudden, maybe they say they do something that, that the, the public decides is over the line. For example, Kathy Griffin or Samantha B recently, Roseanne Barr, that's kind of a different situation, but comedians that are known for being edgy and then all of a sudden they do something that everybody has a, is, there's a huge blow, blowback. Do you guys, how do you guys toe that line? And do you guys fear that ever happening to you if you do something, if you push the envelope too far? Well, I think we view it as a, we have a responsibility with this opportunity to try to say something. And yeah, there's always a danger when you're trying to make a statement that you'll make the wrong statement. But we always just kind of are really careful we're doing the scripts to whatever issue we're satirizing. Mm -hmm. And for the hardcore fans out there, is this a show that you think you'll continue doing for years and years? Or do you guys have other projects 
that you're kind of already working on that you may shift into and lead teachers in the future? <clears throat> do, you, do you know where you'll be in the next five years? Ooh, teachers ride or die, baby. Yeah, ride or die. <laughs> We're riding this into the ground. Uh, I okay. mean, we hope to do it for forever, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see. All right. Well, Katie and Katie, thank you so much for being with us in Twin Cities. Make sure you check out Teachers. It airs every Tuesday at 9.30 p.m. on TV Land. Thanks. Thank you.